Hello, my amazing artists. Today, we will be reviewing our knowledge of weaving with an AB pattern using paper. You will need from your art materials, the blue paper with lines and the white paper with lines that also has X's on it. From home, you will need materials to color with, markers, crayons, colored pencils, glue, and scissors. Please make sure that you have these things in front of you. Our first part of today's lesson is coloring. We will be coloring the strips of paper that will go to make our woven pattern. You can color on either side of your white paper, either the side with lines or the side without. I would suggest doing a simple pattern, either geometric or abstract or any of the lines and shapes that we have learned in class. Today, I'm going to be using a combination of markers and crayons because I find that markers make a nice bold color and crayons fill in space quite quickly. After coloring the majority of your paper, I will let you leave a few places on your paper white. In fact, it kind of creates some fun design. Once you have done that, we are now going to flip our paper over and label the different strips. I'm going to go ahead and use pencil as I hope you do too. Let's go ahead and first start here on this side that's not by the X's with a number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I want you to write another X because we will not be using these two strips of paper. We will only be using strips one through eight. Once you have done that, Please take your scissors and cut each strip. Next, keep your scissors handy. We are going to now take the blue paper and cut this one to be our weaving template. The first thing that we should do is please fold your paper in half so that the lines are going up and down. Your paper should have a folded side and an open side. We are going to be cutting our paper on the folded side. Just like when we cut symmetrical shapes, we want our paper to stay as one piece. So when you are cutting, stop a little bit before you get to the edge. We want the paper to stay together. Continue until you have cut all of the different lines, leaving a space at the end of your paper so that your strips do not come apart. This is your loom that you have just made. Many different strips, but they are all stuck at the ends. Let's say you accidentally cut one of these ends. That's okay. Find some tape and tape them back together. Okay, boys and girls, we are ready to start our weaving. Let's begin with strip number one. Keep your strips with the white side and numbers showing. Begin by sneaking your strip underneath every other blue paper until you have your number one showing. Let's start with number two next. Okay, this time though, we are gonna make our paper start under the paper that has the number. 
This is going to create our checkerboard pattern or an AB pattern. Let it set next to each other. As long as you see every other one as the paper, you have done it right. And as you are working, if you would like to glue down your strip of paper to the blue paper to help you with our weaving, feel free to do that. Put a dot of glue at the ends of your strips of paper and hold for a moment until you are ready to move on. Strip three. We are going every other paper. So notice how I've got white, blue, white. I know I'm doing it correctly if I have that repeating checkerboard pattern. Flipping your paper over, you'll be able to see your beautiful design that you drew before we cut it up in a neat different checkerboard pattern. If you'd like, feel free to snip off these extra pieces at the end. And of course, once you're finished, upload a photo to Artsonia for me to leave you some feedback. Okay, boys and girls, happy weaving. <laughs>